Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition. Choir Boys Cutler Outdoors sitting in the parking lot waiting on Megatron. Listen, I was going to open this uh, video up with Napoleon's excellent and moving speech to his troops at Toulon about, well, actually what he said was, gentlemen, it seems destiny has found a place for us after all. Bonjourno. You don't feel like going? That's fine. I do. I'll go and take this fort by myself. See, I was going to open with that. Now we're going to sit in the car and talk about knives. And I'm like, well, that might be kind of anticlimactic. So here's what I want to do. I want to have a little fun today. I've got my big bag of knives. Now, I carry this shit with me everywhere. How far I am? Yeah, I made it 50 seconds for a cut. This is my bag of knives. It's what I do shorts with. It's what I cut sandwiches with. I carry this with me every day. It is what it is. So what I thought I'd do is we'd go through the bag. I'll show you the knives. And instead of doing the same old, same old, because y'all have seen these, most of them, I think. I thought I'd just give you like a couple lines, how I really feel about the knife, what I think about the knife, kind of the idea behind the knife. That kind of deal. And then uh, tomorrow, start back tomorrow, we'll get on our reviews. We've got, I know I did a, a review yesterday. I had one Monday. I've had probably in the past five days, maybe three or four hard use reviews. Check those out. Um, the other thing is this. Hit like for me. Uh, leave a comment. Please do that. Uh, we talked about that the other day. It'll help the video. Get it out there. That kind of thing. The other side is, guys, right down there by the name, you see a button that says join. That's for memberships. I'm, I'm still learning memberships. I'll have a link to Patreon um, in the description. If you can, it's like five bucks a month. You want to check that out. We got some pretty dope shit over there. We're going to put an adventure up this weekend uh, on Patreon and members. Now, I'm still learning members a little bit, but we'll get it. It's a, it's, it's a work in progress. Listen, so if you want to do that, do that. Before we get into this this video, and I, I, let me just open with this one. This is the Gerber Strong Arm. We're going to talk about it in a second. Before we do, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere, depending on what you read and what article you read. The thing that we focus on, zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. We're back to blue over here. We sport Leo all to the chagrin of many. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law when we do. Oh, we have. We accept responsibility. And finally, finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Let me just let me just throw this real quick. No matter if you're a veteran or not, man, if you're if you're hurting, if you're suffering, please reach out. There's a lot of folks that can help you, that want to help you. Please reach out. Don't don't suffer alone. That being said, guys, let's let's jump into this thing. Like I said, now. You're, you've seen most of these knives. I want to start with this one. This one was a gift from Charles Jones, the redneck nerd. Shout out to Charles. He has a channel, great channel, great take on knives. I love his channel. But I had made a comment on this knife, and Charles gave it to me. I had one, gave it away, blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm so appreciative because I honestly, man, I love this knife. Now, the Gerber strong arm, the sheath is one of the most complex, th and I know. Not for my subscribers, good Lord. My subscribers probably invented the damn thing. But for normal people, the sheath can be complex. You see, it's, it's and it's really not. It's just putting the damn thing together. I think what I'll probably do is take this off and use this kind of scout. Not a big scout carry guy, but with certain knives, this one carries well that way. So let's talk about this. This is the Gerber Strong Arm, American made, made in the USA. I don't know what it is about this knife, but I absolutely love the damn thing. I actually had, and you can kind of see the balance point there just playing around. I actually had one of these, and I chopped a 4x4 four four in half with it, and son, it took all day. But I got that video somewhere. Guys, I got like 2,500 videos. Trust me when I tell you, if there's a video or something, just type it in, Inquire Boys, you, you'll get it. But the thing, I, I like a couple things about this knife. I'll be brief with each one. I like that it's thicker. I don't have specs and all that, not looking it up. I like the aesthetic of this knife. 
I like the balance. I like the way it feels in hand. And it's a very, very serviceable size. Everything, the heat treat's done right on it. Everything about this knife strikes me, and I like it. I like that it's made in the USA. I like the balance. I like the look. I just like the damn look of the knife, you know? And Gerber evokes a lot of emotions, and I get that. But I know that the one I had in this one, quality shit. I really like that one. All right, so moving on. And that, and that is ain't going to be no short video. Mine never are. I just kind of lie about it. But here's the deal. I'm just going to show you what's in the, in the back. I carry a cold steel Coban. Now, I, I do rotate what's in here. I've got four, maybe five cold steel fixed blades that are that are thin this is like their lower tier but it seems like their lower tier stuff is always razor damn sharp now i did a review on this it did pretty well good little sticker it looks dope good for cutting burgers good for hanging out good for if you have to use it and throw it away you can that kind of thing but i like having i like having something sturdy like this. I like having something light, fast, and I can throw away like this that's razor sharp. So I got the Coban. And here's the deal, guys. If you're, if, Whether you're on a budget or not, the Peacemaker 2, I don't know if that's in here, maybe, but the Peacemaker 2, the Coban, there's several of these, like $25, $30 range, and it, they always put, let me see what this is. This one's made in Taiwan. This is Aus 8, okay? They make these things out of German uh, 4116, all kind of stuff. Whether you're on a budget or not, these are good to have and good to hold on to. Sharp as shit, good for food prep. Like I said, again, if you have to accidentally stab somebody, always good to have that. Now, moving right along. This is one y'all see a lot. This is one, I think this is the Vendetta. The Dagger Vendetta. The company name is Dagger with two R's. Here's what I like about this knife. It's just dope as shit. Shout out to Backyard Knife Dude Ken. The Backyard Knife Dude sent this in a box of knives and I actually kept this one. I adore this damn knife. It, guys, not every not every knife for me has to be super practical, super, oh my God, it'll stand up to the apocalypse. Some of them, I just like the way they look. I'm like you. I get called a big kid a lot in the comments and honestly i've tried to get mad but it's the damn truth i'm 51 years old i, I you know it's just me and megatron right i mean it, it's just us i'll have my grandson in and but i mean i you know as far as responsibilities and shit i mean i got a house and and that but i like getting around messing with knives and chopping bottles and doing all that so yeah i guess i am i don't give a shit it's better than doing meth and pills huh come on Done that too, coke, all that stuff. But I'm, we ain't talking about that now. I'm just saying this is a much healthier habit unless you stab yourself. But I like this knife. I like that it's a frame lock. I like the company dagger. They do some sweet shit. Now this is a dagger style, but I see that leaf. I like that man. I just I like it. It's got it's got look. It's you're not bushcrafting with this. All right one purpose but if you had to bushcraft with it you know that's going to be up to your skill set moving along this one was from scott big boar williams good dude man i love scotty um big boar knife and gear i believe is the name of his channel check him out on instagram and all over the things now y'all gonna have to listen fast because a lot of these were gifts and y'all need to look these people up this is the kubi k230 now somebody pointed out the handle was kind of thin it, it is but it's a pocket fixed blade, and you see the immediate position I go to. I just go to that fencing grip. I use this a lot. I like a Tanto style. It is an American Tanto, Tanto, whatever, right? But I like the thumb ramp. Got a hard use video on this. I like the way this feels. Again, if you notice a lot about what's in this bag, it's versatile, but you know what I'm saying? If you need it. I carry a bunch of them in case there's a big group of us to get attacked by zombies or something. That way everybody's got a knife. All right, so that's the Kubi K230 badass pocket mix blade, all that. Moving on. Now, this one's Kurt's, and I think Kurt's forgot that I got it, which, thank God, because I got to get her. I'm way behind on reviews, guys. But this is a little Boker. I don't know the name of it. 
it is D2 steel. I think they're G10 handles. It's just that it, I hadn't even used it. I got to use it. I like the way it feels. I keep it in here. I was going to do like a Tonto Thursday, and I forgot because that's typical scab. But this is a badass little boker, little pocket fix blade. That's what it is. Now, Kirk puts these on his pocket fix blades. And what he does, which I think is super smart, he'll take, like, put it this side of the belt, right? And then loop this through like this. And I know it's not going to hold. Just imagine being a belt. And then drop it down in his pants. That way, if he needs to pop it up, he can. That's actually a really cool way to carry it. Pocket fix blade that boker. And then we'll just fix that. All right, moving on. Now, this is the CQT. You've seen Donnie. Donnie got one of these for Christmas. I got this from Jimbo. Jimbo got it from somebody else. The coating has always been off of it. This is the CQT Magnum. It's a collaboration between Fox Knives and Tops. Ample handle there big handle it's a liner lock but this thing locks up good again that tanto point again if you need it I, I i typically don't but it's good to have also good heavy duty knife okay really good combination collaboration between uh fox and tops i like this one a lot cqt uh magnum now i get i wanted to address this too and it's nothing bad um, like I said, I just wanted to have a little fun with this video and go through this box. I get a lot of comments on my shorts. Scab, what's the name of the knife? What, listen, I need to do a better job with that. Am I going to? Probably not. Because I've only got like 8 to 15 seconds. I know they last up to a minute. Nobody watches that shit. All right? As soon as you start talking, Joe, Joe, you hear me, Joe? We don't need to tell our life story in a minute. Joe, I love you. Love Joe. Joe's funny. J.S. Bladecraft, love that guy. I need to call you tonight, Joe. We didn't do a live this week, and that wasn't good. Let's blame Joe for that. Again, J.S. Bladecraft. Joe, I'm just fucking with you, dude. Just, you know, keep it. Oh, Lord, I hope Mama didn't watch this one. Um, pardon my language, guys. I, I don't like using that language on the channel. Sorry about that. But, Joe, pay attention. Now, moving on. Cold Steel Frenzy. I, this is, you got to watch me, because I'll say every knife's my favorite. There are certain knives, man, that if I see it, if I walk by it, it's going in my hand, right? It just, it just is. It just is. This is one of them. Why? I don't know. I screwed it up. Thank God for DJ Horn. DJ fixed it. You can see it's a little modified. Razor sharp. My Carter right here, um, S35VN. Uh, triad lock just I just I loved I don't even know why I love this knife I, I don't know why but I do I love the aesthetics of it I see some of it for me guys is just the way that it looks and feels I like an aggressive looking knife I like bigger I always have I just like the, the bigger stuff again bigger kid I'm just a big kid now people say self defense listen Listen, listen, listen. And, and this gets misconstrued a lot, too, because I don't talk about... I've been in probably... And, and if I'm being honest, I I lost count at eight, nine 900,000 fights. Seriously. I bounced for 20 years. I was an idiot younger. All right? I've fought plenty. I just don't like talking about that crap on the channel. People don't come on YouTube to hear that crap, man, or how tough I was or any of that shit. Listen, I literally, in 99, I got run over, got up, 40 people seen it and whipped the dude's ass. That's that's fact. But nobody wants to hear that, right? Nobody go, you okay, scab? Well, believe and, and see, right there. That's why I don't do it either. But I do like an aggressive-looking knife. Am I ever going to stab him with it? Lord, I hope not. Man, I hope not. I hope I'm never in that scenario. How do I avoid that? Common sense, watching your surroundings. If You know, I work in a terrible neighborhood. I'm not going over there to hang out. I'm being honest with you. Right? I, I, common sense. Know your surroundings. See, I know I'm sitting here talking to y'all, but I've watched everybody walk by this car. I know who's within probably 50 feet radius diameter. What I know who's around me. So I use common sense. Megatron's with me. I'm not putting Megatron. So I say all that to say, 
Lord, I, ne I hope I never, ever in my life have to stab anybody else. I'm serious. I don't ever want to do that again. But if I do, the frenzy's a good one. It's got some reach. All right, moving on. Got a little off track there. What else y'all expect from me? Okay, this one is from the collection of Steve, and I don't know why I started doing this. It's Steve Garou, but I always say Steve Garou. I love this. It, this is the Yungus. It's N690. This is one I actually know because this is just dope. It's a small handle. It's all of that. But, man, look how aggressive that clip point is. It's N690 steel. It's made by Kaiser. It's got some great jimping right here. It locks up pretty good. Am I going to do a review on this? Maybe. Drop shuts real good. Um, flipper tab. Why do I love it? I don't, dude, I don't know. This is one of those that I pull, it, it's with me every day. I love the aggressive look. I like a clip point. I'm a sucker for that. Just a dope knife. I carry it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, moving on. Another collector, uh, another from Steve Gallery. Another great knife. Another knife that I literally have had on me every day. And I, when I say have on me, if they're in this bag, they're on me. I should try to show y'all different stuff and, and different uh, pocket knives for my everyday carry. Um, these two have been in it every day, no matter what you've seen. These two, this this is funny what you think of knives. And that's kind of that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. Just give you some thoughts and the, the psychology of the channel. Like when I see this knife, I don't think self I just, it's just... I'm not going to be hard. Somebody's asked about the tip. I don't know because I'm not going to beat the hell out of this knife. This is a knife for slicing apples, food prep, um, opening letters, just, just, just goofy stuff. Now there's Megatron. She's going to interrupt, but that's okay. And then we have the artisan cutlery. This has become an awesome work blade An awesome, awesome work blade. I love this thing. It's super dope. Steve, thank you for these. These are phenomenal. Now, Megan doesn't know. She has no awareness, right? So she's just talking to Mel who's walking by, which is fine. Hey, babe. Hi. We're doing a video. One thing I just noticed on this, guys, it's got a little bar right here. I've literally had this for two weeks. But it's got a little bar right there that you can insert something in and lock it down. That's cool as shit. I just noticed that. So there's that. We're going through our bag. I'm doing a quick video. It's Scab's Big Bag of Knives. Scab's Big Bag of Knives. Say hello to everybody. Love you. Hey, everybody. So, here's what we're doing. Ow. Hurt yourself? Yeah, we got to put... This okay. is one of them cars that'll ding and ding and ding and ding and ding. We're about wrapped up. You got to put on your belt here. Safety first. You know, old Scabber's always safety first. All right. Now... There's a lot of, we're going to do this in two parts because I got to wrap this one up. But I wanted to show you all this. This is the Mini Dragoth. If you've watched the channel, and I'll definitely finish this video up this weekend because there's another 10 knives in there. And yes, I do. I do have them in my bag every day, like I said. Um, and we'll go over the rest. But I wanted to show you all this one. This one is from Jason Dixon. Now listen, I'm going to do a full video on this one. In particular, everybody that knows me knows I love the Dragoth. I love that knife by Carnivora. This one was actually made by Tim Ellis, but it's from the mind of Jason Dixon. Jason is one of my most favorite people in this knife game. Once we get in like some decent light, I'll show it to you. Jason is a big boy, six 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 seven, about four hundred pounds, right? So when he when he designed this, I'm thinking I'm gonna get like a Gerber sized Dragoth. Uh, that's not what we got. We got this size. But I have found, and y'all may flip over one time, I have found that this is one of the most useful knives, and I've done something I don't normally do, and I might kick myself for it. I've used this knife a good bit. Usually I get a knife in, I jump on the review, and then I use it, right? Because I always try to save the edge, because I want to give you guys the best look especially if it's new that to me that's important i want to give you a, a fresh look i don't want to have to strop it or anything like that but this i took out of the thing i've literally had it on me every damn day i absolutely adore it i adore it and i don't know why it's not a typical blade shape but 
Jason, I'm going to do a full video on him because he also does skin care and beard care products. And I've told y'all a million times, I'm not the damn QVC, but here's what I'm going to do with Jason. I'm going to show y'all the stuff because it has it not cleared my face up. Yeah. The beard oil, literally, I used to get real irritated with, with all kind of stuff. I'm telling y'all, and it smells good. Now, he's got some questionable names, and I'm going to help him with that. He's got, like, a butter mint, and that's a good one. I like that one. And then Push Pop, and then some kind of Pirate Mountain Pirate, some kind of thing. We're going to rename that one, Jason. I love you, but, son, come on. We're grown. The Dragoth, that mini Dragoth is badass. Be a hard-use video on it. Well, guys, that's it. See, I kept my Kaiser out. I love y'all. God knows I do. God bless y'all. I hope he does. And listen, I know not everybody believes in that, so here's the thing. If you don't believe in that, may the universe give you a handy. I'm Scab. I'm Megatron. You're not. We're gone, son. Let's go home, Mama. Can't turn the damn.